everyone, it's April and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my summer home tour for 2021. And there is a lot of bead decor, which I've shared with you in some previous hauls. A lot of greenery and flowers and birds and other things that are perfect for summertime. And I'm so excited to share it with you all. My buddies are all here with me today, so you'll definitely see them throughout the video. If you are new here, I would love for you to take a minute and hit that subscribe button. If you love rustic decor and farmhouse decor, this is the place to be. So let's get started here on my coffee table. I changed my greenery out um, and got this garland from Hobby Lobby and what I did was I just wrapped it around my lantern and made it to look like a wreath and then I got these little foam bees. I believe they were from Hobby Lobby as well. I wasn't too thrilled with the coloring on them. They had um, brown instead of black so I painted them and I just stuck them in and wired them throughout the greenery. My wooden um, kind of tray there that I have everything sitting on, I got that at an antique mall. It's actually meant to hang on the wall, but I like to keep it down on the table. Moving on over here, I just have a few summer touches. The Be Thankful sign I picked up at Gabe's this year. It's like a white enamel type metal. And then I got this handmade painted a uh, stuffed beehive. I got that at the antique mall. And then the other little things I've had for several years. I keep the house and the lantern out most of the time. And that little bike I believe was from Kohl's a few years ago. On my barn door, I just have a green wreath. I believe that was from Home Goods a few years ago. And I just have a wooden rustic ladybug sitting in the center there. If you are new to my channel, um, I have this ladder up here above my window. I keep it up all year round. It is an old vintage ladder that I just have up there with um, kind of some like metal shelf brackets. But uh, so far it's held up very nicely. And for summer, I just have some grapevines wrapped around it mixed with some fairy lights and some purple and yellow flowers. And I still have my old um, egg basket hanging in the center there. Took the bunny out from Easter and I haven't really put anything else in it since, but still loving the way that that looks. Moving on over to this corner. On my end table next to the couch, I just have my wooden chair that I keep out most of the time. And I just added my three little bees, my bee family that I made this year. I stuffed some material and hand painted them, added some eyes, and it was my first time um, making something like that. So I'm definitely going to do it now for all the different holidays and come up with some new little characters. Then down here on this burlap little placemat, I guess you'd call it, I just added some bees and a honey um, beehive and different things like that. I hand painted them on myself. And then up here in my galvanized bike that is from Big Lots, I just have some greenery in there. And then on this old window, I hung this Busy Bee Honey Hive sign, which I absolutely love. I didn't share it with you guys. It was one of the surprises I was holding out on. I found this one at the antique mall and I just thought it was really cute. Um, definitely the vibe I'm going for for summer and I had to have it. And then over on my farmhouse shelves, I just kept these pretty simple as far as like my everyday decor. I don't have a lot of bee stuff or anything on here, but I just wanted it to look really fresh for summer. I added a lantern, some books, my houses, all those sorts of things. And Really, this is how I would style these all year round if I didn't have so much decor to change out. Um, and then below here, I have this little hanging potted 
flower and I have a bee pick sitting inside just to tie in some more bees on this section since I have the sign and the little guys on the chair. Down here I have my lantern as always, as well as my bench. I just kept the home sweet home pillow on it. I kept all of the stuff over here pretty much the same like it was for spring. I still have my bunny in the window. Um, but on my uh, awning up here I just have some of my fairy lights and I have the wooden bird I guess garland, you'd call it, going across the window. Definitely gonna be taking my bunny out now and changing up my decor outside for summer very soon. Um, and then on this side, this is where I have a lot of bee decor. I kind of sectioned it off throughout the house, making some little scenes and setups. And uh, on this shelf, I just added some everyday items mixed with some bee stuff and I really love how it turned out. Um, on the bottom here, I just added just some everyday things that I have mixed with two bee signs. And then up here, I thought that it would be cute if I left the heart up just because it has like that chicken wire and I knew I could hang something off of it. So I found these bees at Dollar General. They were actually like purple and green, I believe. So they might have been like a beetle or something, but they reminded me of bees. So I painted them yellow and black and then I just hooked their little feet right onto the heart. Um, they're normally like the things that you would stick on the side of a flower pot and they were only a dollar a piece so a great deal for them and then moving on to the first shelf here in this wooden house I have this sign that says our hive I actually made that I just took one of the Dollar Tree canvases and I took it apart and made a picture out of it I've done that in a few of my DIY videos before and I just stamped our hive and painted and glued some little bee buttons on there. And then the mouse holding the sunflower, that is a Primitives by Kathy item. This is another thing that I held out on showing you guys. It's this hanging metal beehive. It actually has like a chain in the back that you can hang it from the ceiling, but I decided to just stick it on here. It has this rustic bee attached to it. And what I did was added some greenery and one of the Amazon candles and I just wrapped it up with some bee fabric that I got at, I believe that was from Hobby Lobby. And then I stuck a honey stick in there with two more of those little bee buttons. And then over here on my candlesticks, my mom actually found these metal bees last year when she was out shopping. I think she got like a 10 pack of them at one of the country stores and she gave me two of them. So I just stuck them here on each of my candles. I made this wooden bee garland out of some extra beads that I had left over from other holidays when I made garlands. So I decided to do 10 black, 10 yellow, and 10 white. And then I strung them on here, showing a little bit of the jute twine between them. And then I took a really small paintbrush and I hand painted the outline of some little bees on a few of the beads. And I think it just gave the perfect amount of color. And then down here I have my new stuffed um, beehive that has the little bees with the wire wings. And that actually lights up. I just don't have batteries in it yet. Um, and then moving on over here, I hauled this, I don't know what it's supposed to be, like a little toolbox type thing. And I added this bee boys bear. I've had him for many years, way before I was actually into bee decor. So I thought he would be cute to put out. And then I have that bee fabric I wrapped around the candle. I had some extra, so I just shoved it in there with some flowers. 
And then if you guys are familiar with my channel, you know I love the Etsy shop, The Mossy Knoll. And she was kind enough to give me these cute bee signs. This one has a magnet, so it sticks right onto this toolbox perfectly. Um, it says fresh and local honey, and you could stick these on your trucks. Um, anything you have metal. And I have another one too I will show you as we go further in the video. Um, down here, I like again, I said I just added two B signs. That one says, be happy. Got that at a local shop. And then the home one as well, that was from the same store. Um, really like how they did with the O, really cute. And I just have my rustic house and a galvanized bin in there. So that's how that shelf came out. Like I said, I'm really loving it. I love all of the yellow and black with the wood of the hutch. I think it looks really rustic and definitely summery. Then moving over by my front door here, not really bee decor, but I have a bird and some more flowers. Having this little rustic pail. And then on my window, I just have this basket with a purple bird inside. And then on my wreath, um, I actually took a piece of bee fabric and made a bow and I tied it on there just to give it a little bit of bee decor on this side of the room. And then down on my picket fence shelf, I left that the same way it was for spring. I just got rid of the bunnies. Um, again, uh, this is an example here um, on that bottom truck. I have one of those mossy um, knoll signs that have the magnets. That one says fresh lavender. Um, just an idea of something you can do with them. I will have all of the information linked down below if you're interested in some mini signs for your tiered trays or refrigerator, anything you want to decorate with. And there will also be a coupon code as well. So definitely check that out. Um, over here by my TV um, and my fireplace, I keep this generally the same um, throughout, throughout spring and summer, I just change it up ever so slightly. Um, with my greenery, I kept all of my fairy lights wrapped, um, between them. The garland is from Hobby Lobby. And also from Hobby Lobby are these little bee clips. They are in the party section. Um, I just bought a couple packs of those and they're on little clothes pins and I just clip them inside the greenery. And then up on the fireplace, I just have some purple birds and some bird cages. Uh, I believe the purple birds are from Hobby Lobby and the bird cages were bookends I got at Michael's a few years ago. Then I, as last minute decision, hung this um, beehive that's made of twigs right in the middle. I even have the tags on it because I was trying to figure out where to put it. Um, one of you had suggested that I stick some lights in there that that would like light it up and shine through and look really pretty and it definitely would. If I was going to put that um, on a shelf, I would put some lights in it, but because it's hanging here and I already have so many lights, I opted not to, but really a cute idea. And then over on this table, I kept this all generally the same. Um, I had this bird cage from Michael's, still there from the spring. On my old chippy painted shutter, I just have a hanging basket with some greenery hanging out. And I like how this just kind of like drapes out of the basket. It looks really pretty. And then this shelf that I had got from the antique mall around Valentine's Day. Um, I've been having a lot of fun decorating this. Left it pretty much the same as spring. The bottom I have this bee jar, which I will show more of them to you guys in a bit. But I just left some purple flowers, my lantern, and this picture I made just using some fabric with bees on it from Hobby Lobby and then I painted it.
Moving on into the dining room, I definitely carried over the bead decor over here as well. And I'll give you guys kind of like an overview here of what it looks like um, that's going into my kitchen there. And if you guys are new to my channel, um, my house was built in the early 1900s and um, it's not very large, but I work with it. It works perfect for me and my dogs and I just love the charm that it has. Um, right here, kind of dividing the two rooms, I just have my chair here with two pillows. The yellow one was from Kohl's. And then on this old shutter, I just have some greenery. And then where the arch is on each side, I got these black hooks and these, I call them my little metal bucket lights. Um, I got those at a local shop and they're battery operated. And again, I have one on each side and I usually stick some kind of florals in them. But yeah, really cute. I like the look of having them on each side. It really makes it nice and balanced. And I just love how rustic they are. Now, I've been holding out on you guys. Um, I figured I would save it for the home tour. But I recently found this amazing hutch on Facebook Marketplace. I believe it was last weekend I picked it up. And if you remember, I had a gray dresser here and a farmhouse shelf. And I really loved it, but it just, I don't know. I always just kind of threw it together because I had nothing else that fit here. So when I saw the measurements for this, I knew it was gonna be perfect. And smaller hutches like this are so hard to find. Um, but anyway, it was a navy blue color and I got it home and I was going to paint it white, but I knew it just wasn't gonna stick out on these um, white walls in here. So as a last minute decision, I went with like a charcoal gray and I just went back in and re-distressed it. And I absolutely love how it looks, especially with the wood um, backing. Um, just, it really just blew me away how beautiful this hutch was once I gave it the makeover and put it in the space. What was even better was that down here, um, when you open up these doors, there was a lot of storage. So I was able to fit all of my DVDs in here that I've been looking for a place to store. So it worked out perfectly. And of course I wanted to use all the bead decor that I had over here um, on the dresser that used to be here. So I just kind of, you know, arranged it and set up some little vignettes here. And I absolutely love this. Probably my favorite um, thing I decorated for summer. Um, this beehive I made, I recently got into needle felting and I came up with a few things to put here on the shelf. First is that one, and then up here, this bee. Uh, I'm having so much fun coming up with some new little critters. I was obsessed with needle felting, um, little mice and stuff at Christmas, so I decided to try my hand at making my own. Uh, these bee glasses here, they're actually drinking glasses. I got them in a set of four, but I had these wooden um, candle lids that fit on here perfectly. So I just stuck them on there to make them look more like um, canister jars. Um, this metal galvanized canister I found at Dollar General this year. I saw other people haul them and I couldn't find one anywhere. And then one day I walked in a Dollar General and there it was. Um, this was another recent find. I found this, I don't even know if it's like a little teapot or what you would call it, but you take it apart in three different pieces. And I got that at a yard sale for $1. And then I just touched up the paint on the bees because it was really faded. And then up here, I made this picture. This was um, just a block of wood that I had. I painted it black. And then these were bees that were actually um, on cardboard on the box that the drinking glasses came in. And I just cut them out and glued them on it. 
um, the match to those glasses um, up here, this is actually a soap dispenser that I saw at Hobby Lobby on the clearance because the dispenser was broke. And I think it was only like $1.50. So I bought it and then just tied some jute twine around it to make it look more like a bottle. Um, my bucket I shared with you guys, that was from a local shop as well as this stuffed bee that is in it. And then I found the Bee Fairy Lights this year at Walmart. I believe they were like $5.95 or something like that. But you get a good amount of bees and they're really detailed and really bright. I'm kind of regretting. I wish I would have picked up another set. And then up here on the top, I just have my lamp, my letter A, which I think ties in so well with the bee decor. And then this picture I threw together myself. It was an old um, picture I wasn't using anymore. So I just took some Hobby Lobby fabric, cut it down to size and hot glued it on there and then made another bee using some of my needle felting supplies. And I thought it turned out super cute and it was very inexpensive to make. So that's my hutch. Glad to finally share it with you guys, and I'm really looking forward to decorating it for more of the upcoming seasons. Moving on over to my wine cabinet here. Um, kept all this decor the same that I keep on my brick wall. And then um, I decided that I would keep my bear out. I just added a wreath and another one of those bee clips. I just thought he was too cute. He had to stay out. If I could find a way to keep him out for all of the holidays and seasons, I definitely will. And then this is the tiered tray that I came up with this year. Um, it was really hard to find bead decor, so I just made a lot of my own little signs. I made the honeybee sign. The two little bees there are stickers. I just stuck them in a frame. Uh, that's a honeycomb candle I got a few years ago. There's another bee I needle felt it. I made the wooden sign. I just hand painted those on. And then this honey jar I made as a DIY as well. I found the jar at Hobby Lobby. I put some yellow paint inside and then I painted the word honey. And then all I did was glue that bee on the top of it. Super cute and super simple. Um, this buzz sign I made, again, using a piece of wood and stickers. Just kind of drew it on there and uh, or glued down with the stickers just to make sure that they would stay on good. I found this wooden flower um, at a thrift store. And this is another one of the signs from the Mossy Knoll. This one's probably my favorite. Absolutely adorable. The detailing is amazing. So definitely if you guys are looking for some mini signs for your tear trays um, to go with your bee theme, check her out. I will have it linked down in the description box. So that's it for this corner. Probably my favorite corner as far as bee decor this year. I'm definitely gonna try to grow my collection and get more um, as I go. And if I find more, I'll definitely share it with you guys. Um, I left my yellow wreath up in the middle of my windows. And then don't really have a centerpiece, kind of just put this stuff here because I thought it looked cute. Um, this pot um, with the green fern, that's from Hobby Lobby. I just added the bee stickers. And um, this kind of wiry candle holder I got at a yard sale and I just glued some bee buttons on there. Again, just trying to tie in the yellow and really add some little touches of bees anywhere I can. Then, of course, my hutch and my high chair, everything over here is all the same. I left the top the same as well with the fresh flower market sign and my chicken um, cage and all the things up here are all the same from spring. I love them too much, so I left it out. And then over on this um, shelf, I just added another beehive, one of the handmade um, painted ones with the bees. 
And I just stuck another metal truck down here with some more flowers. And that was pretty much it for that side, super simple. And then on my old rustic door here, I always have so much fun decorating this. Um, I put some greenery on the bottom with my lantern and another one of those Amazon candles. And then on the shelf, I found this honeybee um, lane sign at Hobby Lobby this year. Sits on there perfectly. And then I added my primitive bee to the basket with some hanging greenery. And isn't he just the cutest? He looks so sad and grumpy, but wouldn't want it any other way. And now moving on to the last section of my house. I know this video is getting long, so I appreciate you guys sticking in with me here. Um, I left my always welcome here sign up there above the archway into the kitchen. I showed you guys this rustic shelf I found a few weeks back. Hard to find things to fit in there that the door shuts, but I did get two little potted plants in there. And then this bee, I again made myself. I just hand stitched it and painted it and then put a little piece of jute twine on it so it could hang on the hook. So looking for something else to hang on that second hook. Then this bee, I also held it back and didn't share with you guys. I got this at the antique mall. Somebody made it, um, cut it out of wood, and I just thought it was really neat, rustic. I like how they painted it. And it was only like $20, which I thought was a great deal for how large it was. So I just stuck that up there on my wooden board. And then down here on my crates, I just left the bottom to kind of the same, just with a few um, rustic pieces that I have. And then I have a lantern in the middle there. And up here on my flower cart, I just added some greenery with some more of those bee picks. And then another um, primitive bee that I found. So loving how that turned out. And then my bear here on the... Um, first crate I just stuck this uh, yellow flower pick that also has like a beehive so I thought that would be a cute way to tie in him as well. And the last section to share here um, on my table, which I believe I got that at Home Goods. Um, I definitely wanted to make this have a lot of bead decor as well. The pillow um, is an outdoor pillow from Walmart. It was only $5, so great deal on that. And then I found this bee throw blanket. Um, I believe it was at Marshall's. It was like $15. I love the bees and the honeycomb design. And it was, of course, gray and white, which goes with my house. So I thought it was perfect. And I thought it would be really cute to just drape on my blanket ladder. And I also believe they had that in a turquoise color as well, which was hard to pass up because it's my favorite color. But I do not have that out in my living room. Um, and then over on my bench here from Hobby Lobby, I have this lantern, um, just simple and yellow, but I clipped on one of those bee clips to make it look more bee themed. And then this bee, I needle felted and attached him to a wire and then stuck it down in the plant. And then on this side, um, you'll remember I had this chicken wire lantern um, from Michael's at Easter time. I took the eggs out and put some greenery in there and clipped on two more of those bees. Um, this bee candle I got at Tractor Supply 
and I don't know it doesn't smell the best but I just thought the jar was too cute so I had to get it and then the sign back here was from Michaels this year uh, just all the hives rules which I thought was cute and I love the neutral color scheme and then on the bottom shelf here I just have my basket and lantern and the pillow that is inside here I bought some fabric from Hobby Lobby the same fabric I used to make like a sign and a couple other things um, I just hot glued two pieces together and stuffed it and made a pillow so that is it. As you can see from when we started this tour, how many dog toys have now made their way to the floor. I feel like I constantly just put them away and they pull them all back out again. But anyway, I hope you guys loved this summer tour and you enjoyed all the bead decor as much as I did. Um, Benny, Baron, and Brody all say hello and they hope you guys are doing well and had a wonderful Memorial Day. Um, if you were new and you loved this video, I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe. Follow me over on Instagram at house to home underscore XOXO. I hope to get on a more normal filming schedule eventually, but I've still been working from home with my job. So between that and I was sick last week with a cold, luckily I'm feeling much better and I'm excited to share some upcoming yard sale hauls with you guys. So until the next one, I will see you then.